Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, uh, we will see how both computer architecture and computer organization works uh, in a computer system. So, a computer organization and architecture tells us about internal working, structuring and implementation of a computer system. How the internal peripherals, internal are working and how they are structuring inside the computer and how they are implementing the instruction that is given by the user and how the computer internal system is organized to implement the architecture in a computer system. Organization defines how the system is structured to use inner tools and peripherals properly. Architecture of a computer system considered as a catalog of tools or attributes that are visible to the user such as instruction sets, number of bit used for the data, addressing techniques, etc. Organization of a computer system defines how system is structured to use catalog tools. In short, architecture is basically the catalog of tools in which there are multiple attributes that is visible to the user. While organization defines how we can use these catalog of tools to structure the system. The noteworthy component of computer organization are arithmetic logic unit, CPU, memory and memory organization. So let's see the evolution of computer devices how they evolve through the different period of time. Earlier, architecture were designed on paper and then they will build in form of hardware, but their testing and building was very difficult. If there is any error and if there is any bu bug, then to recover it, to solve the problem was very difficult and we have to create the whole program, the whole software and we have to create the whole system organization again. So it, it takes a, a lot of resources. So later, architect, later architecture prototype built in the form of transistors. In a digital world, a transistor is a binary switch and the fundamental building block of computer circuitry. Like, like a light switch on the wall, the transistor either prevent or allow current to flow through. In the same way, when we define the architecture prototype on the transistors, so either we built the whole system or we never built it at all. So that was a big problem with the transistor. In 1990s, computer architectures were built inside another computer architectures, like computer architecture simulators. The example, uh, the famous example of computer architecture simulator is the aircraft simulator, in which pilots learn how to fly a jet in a dummy aircraft simulator or inside FPGA, that is a field programmable gate array. It's an integrated circuit that could contain millions of logic gates that can be electrically configured to perform a certain task. But in between the period, how the computer evolves, let's have a look. The first computer, ANIAC, electronic numerical integrator and computer was the first computing system designed in the early 1940s 
it consists of 18000 buzzing electronic switches called vacuum tubes vacuum tube is basically an electronic device that controls the flow of electron in a vacuum it is also called as electron tube or valve vacuum tubes were very large in size and consumed a lot of electricity it was organized in a u shaped and that covered a room with full air cooling so it was very expensive after that the first digital electronic computer atena soft berry computer was built that is known as abc but the problem was that it was not programmable it was built in 1937 but it also has huge in size after that the first working programmable fully automatic computing machine z3 was invented by a german inventor conrad zeus in 1941 again it was very expensive and consume a lot of resources the transistors were invented in 1947 at Bell laboratories that that was a dramatical reduction in size and cost it was small in size and consumed less power but still the complex circuits were not easy to handle at the same time, Jack Kelby and Robert Noyce invented the integrated circuits. In pre integrated circuits, also known as ICs, or a small chip that can function as an amplifier or a timer microprocessor or even computer memory too, on which thousands or millions of tiny transistors were placed. After that, in 1983, the first personal computer with a graphical user interface was Lisa. That was sold commercially. It ran on the Motorola 68000 dual floppy disk drive, a 5 MB hard drive, and had 1 MB of RAM. At that time, a computer which hard drive is 1 terabyte means its capacity is 1000 gigabyte and as you know that 1 GB is equal to 1 billion bytes so it was a dream for the man of that age so in 1990s Apple released the Macintosh portable it was heavyweight 7.3 kg and extremely expensive Due to its high cost, it was not met with great success and was discontinued only two years later. In the same decade, in, in 1990s, Intel introduced the Touchstone Delta supercomputer, which had 512 microprocessors. It was modeled for fastest multiprocessor systems in the world. So this was all about the evolution of computing devices. In the next part, we will see the comparison of computer organization and computer architecture and how the computer organization is different from the computer architecture. So let's move towards the next part. Thank you.